Hey, I'm Noodle Yeti, and this is the 23rd part in a series we're doing where we build a city called Westdale. This part we're going to be primarily focused on increasing our city's number of tourists and its attractiveness. I had recently put out a poll asking people what they do to increase tourism in their cities. And at the time of recording, it was a healthy tie between sports venues and amusement park. Well, parks, but I included amusement parks and zoos in that title. So I think as a healthy compromise, I actually have an idea for what I'd like to do. If we come over into this area right over here, I was actually thinking about putting in a very large amusement park, as well as including the Concerts DLC. Now I know some of you might be saying, but Noodle Yeti, concerts aren't sports venues. Let me give you a little quick preview here for a second. We look at this, you could see it. the event happens at a specific date, as well as having a capacity on visitors. If we come over here to our sports venue we already have, the event happens on a specific date, as well as having a capacity on visitors. Now the sports venue does happen to have a very high capacity on visitors compared to the level one concert venue, but I have a feeling after we level it up to level three, it should have somewhat of a similar capacity. That and it also won't destroy us with traffic having having one of these things. So I just wanted to kind of show you that that is or give you an idea of what I wanted to do. Now there are going to be some things that we have to think about with this. One of the things that happens with tourism is traffic. If we put down this amusement park over here as well as the sports venue, or not the sports venue, the concert venue, every time there's a concert or every time somebody wants to get to this particular amusement park, they're gonna have to get into the city somehow, whether that's gonna be through this elevated train platform, this airport over here, or even the ferry hub over there, or even all the way on the other side of our city, our intercity bus hub way over there. They're gonna have to get into town somehow. And they're also gonna have to get from these places to the venue, which means we're gonna have to start thinking about a kind of tourism type, or a tourism focused transportation lines which we currently don't have any. So I'm going to go ahead and actually start thinking about how I'd like the roads laid out over here, because I am going to kind of have to think about where this amusement park goes, how people are going to get into it, how they're going to get out of it, and how we're going to help control traffic with all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying out the roads, and you're probably only going to see the finished product, but it is what it is, and I will kind of explain why I did what I did when I'm done. So this is the general layout going on over here. As you can see, we've got the concert venue on the left. We've got the main park entrance on the right. And we actually have some access over into the airport over here in case they fly in. So I'll start from left to right. Over here at the train station, I got rid of one of the commercial buildings. If you noticed, it was just a parking lot. So I had no problem demolishing it and putting a path there instead. When I was looking at this, I noticed that people had quite a long walk just to get to the metro line over here, which is up by this Paradox Plaza. 
I also wanted them to have easier access to get to the street, so I just added some little nodes there. And then I put it right across the street, so that way anyone who wants to visit this concert hall has a bunch of different transportation options available. They have this bus route in front of them, they have the tram line right here, they have the intercity bus station here that'll also take them to the other end of town, and they also have the metro station over there. I liked it. I thought this was a very good placement for it. A lot of walkability and a lot of public transportation. Now for the main park entrance over here, I have a large parking structure, a hotel from the airport, as well as the entrance over here. So I wanted them to have as much access as well to public transportation. Now we are missing a metro line and I am going to be putting the metro line right in front of the park entrance over here. And I'm going to have another stop just right down the road over here in front of the airport. And I'm going to hook that up into this pedestrian area over here, as well as a few other places around town to, well, anyways, I'll get to that later. We're not, we're not talking about that right now. But yeah, I thought park entrance on this side would be fine. I think it would dilute the traffic enough from the main roads being this far away, as well as having plenty of access to ways of getting in and out. One second, I just realized that the roads over here are not set up in a way that would allow them in and out from any direction. They could pretty much only come into the park or out of the park in this one direction over here. So I'm going to get these roads changed up real quick. There we go. All right. So I just basically upgraded the four lane road all the way up to this point. And then I only allowed them in and out over here in these particular spots. I figured since most of the traffic is going left, I would put the right traffic over here farther to the right, so that way they didn't have to cross any of the other traffic. But yeah, now that we have this laid out, I think what I'd like to do next is actually start laying out the pathways inside of this amusement park area. So I'm going to go ahead and begin that, and then when I'm done, I'll kind of explain why I did what I did. So I will be right back. All right, so this is kind of the general outline that I would like. I want to leave all the middle open since I'm not quite sure the sizing of all of the assets, but I can kind of give an idea of where things are going to go or how I'd like to place them. So over in this kind of awkward corner is where I'd like all these smaller things, like maybe the kitty rides, like the spinning teacups, the piggy thingy, basically, or even the game, the arcade stuff. I'd like to put all those over here in this little corner just to have a place where most of the kids will congregate. And then I was thinking somewhere behind this concert venue, I would like to place the roller coaster, maybe even one or two of them. If we place two, it would be more of an idea of they're all together in one, but we'd have to use our imaginations. And then over in this corner, I was thinking about the taller ride that brings people up in the air and then drops them. I think the view that they would have of the pedestrian area or even looking out at the high density over there from however high this up is or how sorry however high this goes up i think that would be really neat to give them that kind of a view and they could even be able to view the stadium over here from when they get launched up i think it would be a pretty good view being in that little corner over there and because of their location they're farther away from the airport so it should be okay that we have some tall stuff over there I think I'm going to go ahead and start laying out the park just so that way we start attracting people so we can start leveling it up. So I will be right back.
So I've got the beginnings over here laid out. I've kind of got some, just a few park, just a few assets. This is quite a bit of assets over here, but I think it's going to add in quite a bit. And I'll kind of talk about why I chose what I chose. Maybe as soon as you come in right through the entrance, you got these two buildings here. The first one might be like the information booth, the ticketing area or something like that, as well as a restroom. You come off to the left over here. We can pretend this restroom might be like a service building or a maintenance building or something. Maybe this building next to its security. And then you can get into your restaurant, restroom. And I'm kind of want to pretend that a lot of these souvenir shops are actually indoor arcades or things like that. Maybe different types of game booths. There's an amusement park near where I'm at called Knott's Berry Farm. And they have these like little kind of like shooting ranges. They're not really, you're not actually shooting anything. You're, they're, they fire lasers. They're laser guns that you shoot at targets. And it's kind of like this indoor type building that has an open front. And that's kind of what I was thinking about with that one there. And I've just kind of peppered a whole bunch of different game booths and these buildings all around just to kind of, I don't know, sell the whole arcade type area down over here. But over here is where we have most of the little children rides and maybe a few children type game booths with a restroom down at the end over here and a little cafe for parents to maybe get a drink or something. And I kind of did like a large plaza over here, maybe where they can sit down, relax, have their lunch. Or if they didn't want to sit on that, they can come out and sit on the grass or something. So yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we got here for this park. I think it's kind of nice. We just need to wait quite a bit for it to level up again. It is making money, so that's really nice. And it, holy cow, look at all of these people walking here. I mean, they, we got a lot of people getting in their cars as well. But I mean, just look at the number of pedestrians. That is incredible. I wonder if they're all coming from over here. They are. So yeah, I think actually, while we're waiting for this to level up, I can go ahead and put down a couple things around town, maybe a couple metro stops. I was thinking of putting the metro stop right around over here. I think that'll be a decent spot. And then for the airport, I was thinking, I think maybe right around here would be okay. I don't think it would be too bad. So it's kind of right across the street from the airport. They don't have to go too far. They can hop on, hitch a ride to their hotel over here or right to the amusement park. Or if they want to completely bypass this stop, they can go right into the pedestrian area over here, which also has its own hotel and leisure and we can pretend maybe some of these other buildings are hotels as well all right so i've got all the lines drawn out for this underground metro station show 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 it shouldn't be so it shouldn't be too long until we start to see people use this looks like they are now and there we go we got level three we got the swinging boat house of horrors and bumper cars i'm starting to think maybe we did this amusement park just a little bit too large I think it'll be okay. I think we'll figure out how to work everything in here. If not, we can always shrink it down. That's okay. It's not like this is set in stone or anything yet. I'd like to take a moment to talk about tourism and public transportation. I'm not an expert on this, but I would just like to comment on how I chose the location for both the amusement park and the concert venue, as well as maybe some of the other attractions around town. Tourists will come in through a variety of methods to your town, whether that's the highway, the bus station, train station, harbor, airport. There's a variety of different ways that these people come into your city. Now from there, they're going to want to go to one of your attractions, such as either a park from the Park Life DLC or a unique building, such as a sports venue or city hall. What you want to think about when placing those unique buildings and their locations is how you can get public transportation to those locations. Tourists tr will take public transportation over driving their own car as long as it's not too slow. So as an example of one of my failures, just to kind of point out what you're not supposed to do. If we come over to this cheese wedge area, we have two unique buildings in here. We have the noodle restaurant and the oriental market. Now, if we back out and we look at our transportation view, in order to get there from one of the intercity stations, they're going to have to take a minimum of two separate trips with walking in between. 
So if they arrive at this bus station here, they'll have to walk down to the tram stop, ride the tram over until they get to either the yellow and purple route or the light blue and pink route, and then ride it up over here until they get to the noodle market. So if they arrive at this train station, they're probably going to see it as a lot faster to just drive there, which will lead to a lot of traffic. Now that's just from that particular source. If they come in from the train station or the airport, harbor, highway, it doesn't matter. The fastest way for them is going to be to drive to those locations. So what I was thinking about with this particular amusement park is that, say for instance, they come from the train station. They can easily just walk down and walk over there, or they can walk over to the metro station, ride that over. Or in the future, when I actually get the bus line set up correctly, they can ride the bus over. Basically, what I'm getting at is when you're putting down parks and unique buildings, you just need to be a little bit mindful of how tourists are going to get to those locations. So I think I've kind of rambled enough for now. I think, my goodness, it's been a little while, but we're almost to our next milestone. So I'll go ahead and let that run for a bit. Now. Actually, I'm going to pause it for a quick second again. When we look at the Peanut Bowl Memorial Stadium, see that the next match is next month. If we were to turn on our concert venue now, the next show would be in four months. At four months after that, I should say. Five months from now. With the next show being roughly a year after when this one occurs, two months away. So I think it's probably a good idea to go ahead and turn this on now just so that way we can kind of stagger these a little bit better. Oh, or not. I guess now the next show is going to be one month after this one. All right, well, anyways, that's fine. We'll just leave it running now. I think it's fine for us to go ahead and turn on the concert venue. But yeah, I guess I'll wait for this to hit the next milestone. There we go. There's level four. We got the drop ride and the pendulum ride. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get into making or adding in all the new assets we got from level three and level four. So I will be right back. So this is pretty much what I've got done so far. I put in all of it pretty much over here. I was thinking with this big empty area, we could put in the roller coaster and maybe some other stuff. But as far as what I did over here, I got the tower ride right where I wanted it to. And they've got quite the view. I mean, in our current camera, it's all really blurry, which is really annoying, but they can see out and all the way over to the high density over there, all across town. It's pretty neat. I really like this view that they get. I think they'll really enjoy that. And if we look down here, I put kind of a building over here. Maybe this is like it's ticketing booth or something, maybe a souvenir shop. I don't know. we got some game things over here and we got the, I forget what this thing is called. I think it's called the pendulum ride. we got the haunted house. We've got a whole little area for snacks and who knows what and a lot of restrooms on this end. Now, I forgot to put the little piggy ride over in the, um, the children's area over there. So I'm hoping that it'll be okay over here. Who knows? Maybe the parents wanted to go on something over here so they took their kids. One of the parents is over here with the kid on the ride or something while the parents, other parents are riding on the uh, 
the tower right over there or something. Who knows? But yeah, I'm really liking this. I'm thinking it's starting to look a lot better. And my goodness, our uh, concert's really starting to act up here. Wonder how it's doing. We've got 276 out of 300. That's kind of cool. Hopefully the concert does well because we need these to do well in order to upgrade them. Well, yeah, let's see how this is doing. We're just barely away from the next level entertainment wise. So it looks like I still need to put some stuff down over here. One second, we need water. All right, so I pretty much just put down a whole bunch of props, found out that they don't actually count towards its entertainment level. And then I put down the bumper cars because I realized I had actually forgotten that. So that's okay. But now we just got to play the waiting game until we hit the next level. So I think while we're waiting for this to hit the next level, I'm going to go ahead and go over here and start laying out the roads for the city hall. I was kind of thinking of using pedestrian roads for this. Taking one of these ones, I'm thinking the small cobblestone pedestrian street and dragging it out from here just a little ways. Coming out about 200 on each side because I think the city hall itself, if we come into, I believe it's this one, city hall is about 16 wide. Yeah, so that should fit perfectly just like that. And we can take these same pedestrian roads and wrap it around in a 10 by 10 square. And then from here, we take our metro and I want to place it right behind it just like that. Now we are going to need to extend our pedestrian zone, which we could do pretty easily if we just take the small one, bring it out, paint over it, and then we can sever the connection there. And there we go. There's that. We should probably get some pathways hooked up to this. Oh my goodness. Whoops. Probably get some pathways hooked up to here. Just a bunch of little ones coming off the corners and ends just to further improve the walkability of this place. I'm thinking I, I am going to extend the little pedestrian path back a ways past this where I'm going to put in another unique building. So I'm thinking I'd like to have these side paths come off from right around here on the sides of this, just like that. And of course, I am actually going to be turning parts of this dirt road back here into a pedestrian road, but you can see people are walking on it now. So I'm not quite sure if I want to destroy this yet. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it and extend some dirt paths back there. So just like that, and then we can take the dirt path to act as like a temporary path or something to lead off over there, and then another temporary path to lead off over there. Just like that. I think that'll be just fine. And then of course, oops, I almost forgot. We have to actually extend the tram line out. Which is going to be a little bit tricky considering the angle on this. So if we kind of angle this out just like that, close to a 90 like that. I'm going to turn on all of our snap twos here. Then we can come in one less from there, something like that. And then we can extend the line out. So we're going to pause this so we don't upset anybody. Come back and then drop a couple stops just like that. And there we go. We have the Metro Line City Hall all set up over here. And there we go. There's level five. So there we go. I think if I come in here, come into the parks, the roller coaster one is the one that I want right behind the stadium. I think that would be absolutely such a cool view from the stadium. Maybe you're there at a concert and you just see this roller coaster going on in the background. And that actually reminds me of something at Disneyland again of when they have a show where they shoot up a bunch of water out of the out of a big lake they have in one of their parks and right behind it they have this big roller coaster and it just looks really cool of course they shut the roller coaster down for this show so you don't get to see the roller coaster going in the background but still it's pretty cool to see like all the water going on in front of it so i think it'd be cool to have it behind the concert just like this That'd be really cool. I was actually thinking if we come in here, 
we could turn this around and actually have two of them back to back in here. I actually think that would be really cool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and figure out how I want to put that in here like this. Or if I even can. Because it looks like the way our paths are set up, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that. Which is very unfortunate, but I'm going to go ahead and try anyways. Wait a second. These people are riding their bikes through the amusement park. Hold on a minute here. What in the world? I didn't realize that people could do that. Okay. Alrighty then. Well, so one of the unfortunate things about trying to put the two roller coasters right here is that I had to move the bumper cars, which is okay. I wanted it over in this area anyways. And I think having the concert going on in the background behind your ride on the bumper cars is going to be a pretty decent, pretty decent experience. So I think now I'm going to fill in this little area here, or I think I'll leave it as a plain grassy area. I think I'll put maybe a red... Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to leave it alone as just this grassy area. Maybe I'll put a couple props in here. But I'm going to go ahead and cut off the rest of this area. We are not going to need it. We've got plenty of entertainment. 2500 an attractiveness of 1800 We could probably slam our ticket price up to 25 bucks a ticket. And we should actually think about putting these uh, policies on, like Main Park, Celebrate. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with even more fun. I think that would be great. And now we have an entertainment of 2900 So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and snap my fingers real quick and get this taken care of. Oh my lord, hold on a minute here. What in the heck? So what is going on here? Who are these people and where are they going? All right, so everyone here is driving to the amusement park. I don't know where they came from. But apparently they believe the fastest route to get here is to drive. So we're doing something wrong here. So I think this actually has to lead us into our next point, which is public transportation. So I, we need our... Yeah, we need to um, put our amusement park on hold here for a second while we get our traffic under control. So I think the idea, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember if I said it earlier or not, but I want to connect this metro station up to one right over here in between these two parks, come down all the way around and connect it up to this intercity bus station. And I think that's probably going to be what might help us because current, and then of course, on top of that, we're going to need a bus route over here that takes them from the harbor to the train station, to the park, to the airport, and all through this little area here. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on all that. I will be right back. So y'all really caught me with egg on my face there, and I really had to stop and think about how traffic moves and how I could possibly fix what was going on. And as you can kind of see, everything is kind of moving along just a little bit here. I moved to the metro station. I connected it all the way up to the other side of town to the intercity bus station as well as added a couple stops in between. I've added a very obvious pedestrian bridge over here and I've pulled the bus lines out of the kind of I guess driveway for the amusement park there 
And I think the biggest impact is actually the capacity of the roads. I've upgraded these to be six lane roads for the main roads. And then I've upgraded, well, actually, I think I kept this one the same. And I think that's actually really helped out because if we look at the turn lanes down here, we have one dedicated turn lane and one dedicated straight through lane. And that helps out a lot. But yeah, the road capacity tied to the, oh, I think we have a traffic light over here. Oh, no, we don't. They just were waiting out there. Traffic's starting to back up. Oh, we have a concert going on right now. Yeah, so that's probably why we have a lot of tourists going on right now. And we also have a match going on at the stadium. So even we got concert and stadium going on, and this is all the traffic we're experiencing right now at the amusement park. So that should tell you something. So I kind of want to see... Oh, I think we lost the match. Yeah, that's a shame. Which means we just lost a bunch of money. Oh well. So I kind of want to check out our tourism to see where we're at. Oh my goodness. All right, so... I think my weekly goal when I started this was to have a tourist, a weekly tourism visit of 1,750, and now we're at 2,100. I think the only downside here is that we fell short on attractiveness. I think my goal was 65%, which shouldn't be too hard to meet that goal. I think it's just going to be a couple, couple more tourist buildings. So yeah. I think that's about it for now. I'm happy with what we've done today. I think maybe if I had thought about this and planned a few more things out just a little bit more, we'd probably be able to eliminate the traffic backups whenever we have either a concert match or sorry, a concert match, whenever we have a concert or a match at the stadium. But I think this is perfectly fine. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope you're able to teach me something. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.